Now, in terms of definition, so as I mentioned before, it's a big buzzword, but the issue ki is, is kind of that a lot of people don't know really what supply chain finance is. And that is um, why the International Chamber of Commerce last year, um, they worked almost nine months on defining the term supply chain finance. Maybe I can read it quickly. So supply chain finance is defined as the use of financing and risk mitigation practices and techniques to optimize the management of the working capital and equity invested in supply chain finance processes and transaction. Supply chain finance is typically applied to open account trades and is triggered by supply chain events. Visibility of underlying trade flows by the finance provider is a necessary component of such financing arrangement which can be enabled by a technology platform. So of course, it's not important to know the whole definition. I just marked the key points, I marked them in bold. It's basically, it involves financing and it involves uh, reducing the credit risk, mitigating the risk. It involves mainly working capital and involves um, the trade patterns or trade flows based on open account, which will I will explain in a few slides. And it involves heavily a technology platform. I mean, the basics, you can do it using uh, Excel if you maybe just work with one trading partner. But here we speak about hundreds of different parties involved, also external parties like banks, credit insurance companies. So for that, you need a technology platform which can um, manage efficiently all the invoices, all the payments. And supply chain finance, from my perspective, includes uh, several part of financing um, solutions. So one is accounts payables financing. The other one is self-funding programs. So basically where the buying organization acts as a, as a financial institution with its own cash flow or with its own cash to provide financing to their suppliers. And then the third one is payment card solutions or P-card solutions offered by all the credit card um, issuers. And I will go into detail for each single solution uh, in this session. So to understand a little bit um, the topic, I mentioned here there are um, three networks or three flows. And mostly if you Google supply chain finance, you always see, see a cargo ship on the ocean, which is it's just, it just shows one flow, not one network, which is the physical supply chain, but there's much more to it. So it's, it involves also a financial network like payments, invoices, credit notes, um, and credit risk. And then in between the physical supply chain and the, um, the financial supply chain is interacting the information network, which inform, uh, involves exchange through electronic means like, again, invoices, payments, and also communication channels. And all this together <coughs> is, um, is where supply chain finance is, is acting. <coughs> 